Let's look at a few of the creatures that we might see this spring. Of course, here we have, we start off with your friend Humphrey, um, the eyed lizard. Now, the eyed lizard is a, a very interesting reptile here in the Mediterranean region because it's the largest lizard found in the whole of Europe. And um, these lizards can grow up to half a meter. And once upon a time, before we had the laws protecting them, the Spanish um, used to have these on the menu. They used to um, eat them. Right. They, they used to um, make a stew out of them with garlic and tomatoes. <laughs> um, so thankfully, no. he's not on the menu anymore. No. Um, but uh, this is a very interesting lizard that you might see um, this time of year um, in spring. And you can see them hunting. They, they feed on all sorts of um, invertebrates and insects, as well as small reptiles and um, rodents, such as mice, because, as I say, the larger lizards, um, they're up to half a meter, so they can take large prey as well. They can actually give you a nasty bite as well. Oh, can they? Mm. Yeah. I suppose only when they feel threatened. Of course. Yeah. I mean, obviously, um, being a wild animal, um, we know that they can give you a nasty bite because with, because of personal communication um, with Spanish villagers I've spoken to who have collected them in the past when mm. they were able to eat them. And obviously um, the, the lizards were aggressive and they could, could Didn't bite. want to go in that part. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Let's... Do they, um, do, sorry, just one moment. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, of course if you wanted to see something like that, it's better at dusk, isn't it? Do they, I suppose they're, they're more a, an evening uh, reptile. Yes and no. Ah. You're right in that they are more active at dusk, but that's when you won't see them, oh. okay? You're more likely to see them early in the morning when they're cold and they come out to bask on the rocks. Ah, okay. So that's when they're warming up. And by dusk, they're already fully warmed up, so you won't see them because they're in the undergrowth hunting. Okay. So always the best time to look at wildlife during spring is usually in the morning. In the morning. Mm. Okay. Early in the morning. Remember that then. Okay. And yes, dead man's chest. <laughs> yes, um, let's look at something interesting here. Um, I've got a surprise for you. This wandered in to my house. Oh, it came into your house? Yes. Um, it because, wanted to get As cool. you know, I have the country house um, at the moment where I'm staying. And this is obviously a wild <laughs> snake, so it's, it's fast moving. As yeah. you can see, it can bite and they do tend to hiss. This is a ladder snake. Now, ladder snakes are one of the largest snakes found here in this region. Right. And the adults can get up to about six to seven foot. Really? Yes, they're related to the... You just keep hold of it. I will do. <laughs> you don't have to worry because it's not poisonous. It's all right. A, it's a non-venomous snake. Okay. Um, although they can bite, um, they actually are usually an aggressive snake. Um, when picked up, but I've been handling venomous snakes as yeah. well as many others. So for I'm many, many years. <laughs> for many years, so I'm okay with it for now. Um, but yes, when I first picked it up, it was very hissy and it was biting, etc. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I've since been able to calm it down for you. Thank you. And uh, hopefully she'll be fine. But remember, the weather's now quite warm here mm. in the Mediterranean. So, you know, this is a fully active snake. And now's when they are coming out of hibernation for the breeding season. Obviously, this one is um, not fully grown, so it's, it's not um, anywhere near um, to breeding stage yet. Um, but it's a, it's a fair size um, rat snake okay. um, found here. Um, the snakes tend to um, hiss loudly, puff up, and bite usually um, in defense. Um, this snake, being non-venomous, will not cause any poisonous effects. It is, of course, covered and identified in my book, Poisonous Creatures, as well as all the other poisonous snakes. So if you're living um, maybe probably more in the campo, isn't it? Mm. And uh, this, as it did with you, wanders into your house, but mm. you, let's say you don't want it in your house, what's the best way of catching it? With